guys how are you i'm coming to you with another video uh quickly i will share uh that i have a new device so a new phone and i'm still trying to figure out uh how to make videos with it so i noticed the sound was horrible the last time so i used now i'm using this the ear um and what else um I, I can't find the like how to retrieve your comments so now I'm going to each video separately I may just turn off the comments altogether I'm not sure um, but uh, okay here we go so the 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 sound is better today I want to share this beautiful message from our sister uh, Julie Wetby from Behold I Come. It's such a powerful message and it um, confirms for me many of the dreams that I've gotten that I didn't get a chance to share. So I'm going to do it together with this message. Um, I'm not sure how I will be able to... Um, write it down like somewhere where you can link it I'm going to try for that to happen um, but it's um, behold I come and um, let me check on that hold on so the title of her message is what is about to take place will display all deceptions and reveal evil for what it is it's message received December 18th 2021 she says as I was in prayer today I again ask Yahushua to give me deeper insight revelations understanding as to his journey here and how it relates to our journey and how we have the way and how we have the way made to live a glorified life here while still in this realm i have prayed for years to be taken in the spirit during the time he was in the garden of gesedim Gethsemane and walk with him having him share more of what it was like as he willingly walked to the road of cavalry leading up to his resurrection and ascension this is what he shared today with me and my prayer is that it greatly bless you in this season his season of light and the season of his imminent return so this is what the Lord shared come and walk with me my little one come close and understand the deeper things of my heart it is my desire that many would be surrendered that many would indeed come and drink deeply of me reflecting and meditating on my journey as I incarnated into this realm taking a garment of flesh I wish all would accept my free gift and allow me to reside within them perfect divinity creator of all freely taking upon myself this garment of flesh having entered a cursed realm to be the example of unconditional love embodied to make a way where otherwise there would be none for all who accept me as their messiah and king in order to enter into eternity with us after i was tormented beaten spit upon and given my cross 
I knew a sorrow that I had not experienced before while in the flesh. While here, I was always able to see the conditions of the heart and motives of men. And that day, I saw each soul around me and what they experienced as well. As I labored to carry my burden, I chose freely to carry this burden, the sin of the world, for all who would call upon my name to be saved. And there was nothing that could stop me from allowing my my sacrifice to be the only way a soul could be saved from eternal darkness. For you see, you were known even before you came here. And your purpose was in my heart before your arrival. I knew you, and I have always loved you. The great war began long before the souls of men were sent here. In my infinite wisdom, I created a design that would allow all an opportunity to choose life. All those made in my image and likeness all those who were given my spirit so that none would be lost. I have spoken to you many times about the importance of having intimacy with me, that you would know your purpose here, that you would fulfill all that you came to do. In my design, however, taught In my word, you know that there are those destined destined as vessels for righteousness and honor and those who were purposed for dishonor. A mystery revealed in those who seek wisdom. The battle between the two, the honorable and the dishonorable, is what has been taking place since the rebellion. As I carried the weight of the sin of the world for all souls, for all time, I saw those who truly cared for me, those whose hearts were broken at what was taking place, those who truly loved me. I also saw the ones in the windows who closed their windows, who closed their window coverings. Those in doorways who quickly closed their doors so they didn't have to see me passing by as I headed towards my destiny. Some walked with me before calling themselves my disciples suddenly didn't want any part of my suffering. Is this not like what I see today? My heart searches for the souls of men, looking for those who love me, those who would give me comfort, those who would be loyal to me, no matter the cost. And I find few. But I do have a remnant. But then there are those who close the windows and doors and their heart, lukewarm, stagnant, even hard, heart, hearted, not wanting to accept. I think it's even hard, hard hearted not wanting to accept what is happening now. Ignoring the season they are in, although it is staring them in the face. Just like then, my presence is not invited by most. My company not truly sought. 
However, this time, this moment of now is unique to all other moments in history. It is, as it is the very moment before I join my bride and glorify her as I was glorified. It is undeniable and more recognizable than anything else that exists. The truth of what is now here and being fulfilled with great speed and intensity. Guys, I'm going to stop just a second here. The Lord gave me a dream. It just said, everything in my word is being fulfilled. Everything. And I'm going to continue. Um, okay. So, eh, uh, What is now here and being fulfilled with great speed and intensity. And just as I have allowed great evil to run its course for my ordained purpose then, so too now I am allowing evil to appear as if it is in control. This is far from the truth. What is about to take place would dispel all deception and reveal evil for what it is. Back on my walk to Calvary then, I saw the great evil beings and hordes of demons manifesting through those who, hate, who hated me, those who cursed me, those who couldn't wait to see my physical death, believing it was victory for them. At the same time, I saw many of the angels being held back as they too had great sorrow at what must occur for my word to be fulfilled. Is it not similar to what you are seeing now? Good being called evil and evil labeled good. I know this evil you see now is heart breaking for those who are walking with me, but it is part of my great plan. I watched as heaven mourned the only son of the father being rejected and given over to die. I am knows all, saw all, saw all that was taking place then, just as I do now. I was in control then, and I am in control now. Never doubt this. What occurred that day was the fulfillment of our promise that those who would have been lost for eternity may have an opportunity for everlasting life. I was the example for you in the flesh of overcoming sin and death so that all who choose me could have the way made, the veil torn, and access granted to my kingdom. The closer I got to Golgatha's hill, the closer I got to Golgatha's hill, the more I saw the faces of evil on those who continued to shout for my death, believing darkness had won. I could have stopped there. I could have slayed them all. But it was not the time appointed. I could do the same now. Stop the evil this moment. But too many would be lost. My plan is for the greatest good of all. So I continue on my walk to victory. So I continued. So the Lord was walking with the cross on his way to Golgatha to get crucified, right? Okay, so I'll start over. So I continued on my walk to victory. 
I remember those I love and who love me. I stayed my course. Is it not what I have asked of you? To stay the course until the appointed time. The greatest faith is needed. Yes, because without faith you cannot please me. Ask and it will be given to you in great mes measure, my children. When I arrived at my end, my body was laid on the ground on that cross. Does this not represent that the body will return to that from where it came? That it must be laid down in order to be raised up. As my body, my flesh, had to die to be crucified, does not yours as well? For you see that in dying, I then rose to eternal life. Mortal became immortal, corruptible, incorruptible. The same applies to you. In dying to you, to self, I will raise you on the third day, just as I raised on the third day, as promised. As my cross was lifted and secured into the ground, the heaviest of all sorrows commenced for me. As I saw all the souls that have ever come into existence, every single one that did not choose me, falling into the depths of hell on their own, no one forcing them into eternal separation. The place that was only ever meant for Satan and those who fell with him. They did not want me. Those who chose darkness. But I stayed the course anyways. I held myself there knowing that my sacrifice was not in vain. So too, I am asking you to hold on for just a precious moment longer and remain steadfast as your suffering in this life is not in vain. Even though I was fully human, my div Divinity allowed me the greater perspective in that I knew many, many would come to know me during this age. And all of heaven would rejoice in the victory with me. Know that your faithfulness and obedience will bring about the fulfillment of many more souls saved as well. When I cried out, it is finished, I left to continue my father's business, setting the captives free and then ascending to my father. What a celebration it was. On that one, okay, what a celebration it was, one that is still ongoing that so many more have a way to eternal life with me because of my sacrifice. All of heaven still sings praises around the throne and will forevermore. This is where I want to relate my experience in the flesh to yours here, the Lord says. This life, this existence and incarnation is a testing ground, a mission, if you will, to a place not your home. I endured the fiery torments of Satan here while in the flesh, as you do. But now, we together will do what is impossible in the realm of the flesh, but supernaturally possible for those who whose hearts I am enthroned upon. 
I was translated, glorified, and manifested my kingdom here on earth after my ascension, appearing to many a fact undeniable. So now you, as well, my remnant bride, will fulfill all that is supposed for the end of this age when you are translated and then manifest collectively my power and authority across the earth. Never before has this earth seen what is imminent upon you, the collective spiritual crucifying and then glorification of my spiritual body of people, you. As heaven invades earth and miracles abound, this is how I will, I this is how I choose to close out this age before the new age begins. The greatest outpouring known so far before the final wrath comes and Satan and his kingdom are bound for a thousand years. So, my precious beloved, ready yourself. Stay the course. Walk in great faith. Set your feet upon me, your rock. Live the crucified life up until the last moment, just as I did. Then display the glorified one as I raise you up and we bring many, many back home to my kingdom at the close of this age, which is now here. Rejoice, the kingdom of heaven has come and lives in the hearts of my children. I am come that you would have eternal life. I am come that you have life eternally. It is signed, the Father, Son, Yehushua, and Ruach HaKodesh. So this is Father God, the Son, Yeshua, uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah, and the Ruach HaKodesh is the Holy Spirit of God. And following this message, I'm going to um, just um, say all the scriptures. I'm not going to read them. But in case you want to pause the video and go through them yourself, uh, the scriptures that Julie Webby received as she received this message. So there's Romans 5.15, Romans 2.16, Proverbs 24.12, Ezekiel 36.26, Romans 10.13, John 14, 6, Jeremiah 1, verse 5, Psalms 139, verse 16, Ephesians 